Hey my FWM crew, how y'all do, how y'all do, how are y'all today? It is me, Miss C. If you are returning, thank you. If you are new, welcome and go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell so you won't miss another video. So y'all, today's video I'm going to be making giant Easter baskets for my two granddaughters, Mala and Majesty. And I will be making an Easter basket for their baby sister, Milan, but hers gonna be a little small, regular. Easter basket since she's just six months old. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know, are you guys making your children or grandchildren's Easter basket, or are you just gonna go ahead and buy them one? Comment down below and let me know. So let's get started. So y'all, this is everything I will be needing to make the giant Easter basket. I'm just gonna be using regular laundry baskets and pool noodles and some ribbon and some mesh paper decorative paper mesh i got all of these supplies from dollar tree and i also will be using some cable ties and a hot glue gun so let's get started y'all so y'all as far as the hot glue gun go you may not necessarily need it if you want to weave your ribbon through the holes of the basket instead of um, just wrapping around the basket. I'm going to um, try to hot glue gun it first. And if I don't like it that way, then I will just wrap it around. So the first basket I'm going to make... I'm gonna use this um, white ribbon. It has little Easter eggs and Easter bunny on it. I'm gonna start from the bottom. Y'all, this is my first time doing this. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue gun. I'm just gonna put some hot glue on here. I don't know if my hot glue will work like this, y'all, because I have a little cheap one. So if this doesn't work, which I don't think it is. So y'all, I'm not going to even fool with the hot glue. So the hot glue is not working for me. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, weave it on through, y'all. I think I'm gonna like skip two, go in, skip two. So as you do it, you're gonna have to make sure that your ribbon stays open because of the little wire that's on the edges of it. Okay, y'all, I got the first row on. So the second row, I will be using the brown one. Okay, y'all, so I got my first two rows done. I'm about to start on the third row. The next one's going to be the egg and bunny again. Go ahead and use the hot 
glue gun to seal up the end on this one. So my third row, fourth row gonna be with the brown one. Take the scissors and cut off the excess, the extra. So again, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and glue the tip. Okay, y'all, so I'm done with the first one. This is what it's looking like. So, I'm gonna take this poo noodle and set it inside, not all the way down, but down to the, about that far. And I'm gonna take my cable ties, stick it through the hole. Okay, y'all, so what you wanna do is Make sure that you got your pool noodle near the handle. And just go ahead and stick it in the hole. Pull it as tight as you need it. And then just cut off the excess. And we just do the same for the other side. sure it's nice and snug y'all okay y'all so the reason why you would want to use the cable ties is because you want to be able to pick it up like so and so yeah this is the first one y'all so what I'm gonna have to do is use any type of material that you would want to use to stick it down in the bottom so that whatever you put in here will give it some height. So I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this blanket for height. And so when I get ready to fill it up, I'll show you guys. Okay, so I got that in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the uh, noodle up as well. glue on it okay y'all I have already wrapped around the brown one so I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on the tip of it and just glue it down and hold it like so. So this is what it's looking like. So 
So I will be filling it up with some items, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna use this pink one to make a bow for it, the decorative mesh. Go ahead and open that up and make a bow. So y'all, I've finished my bow. I'm not an expert on making a bow, but if you wanna put a bow on it, you can. If not, you don't have to. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick a little bow on here. I'm gonna use my little hot glue to glue it on there. And so here it is, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up in a little bit. I've gotta make the second one, so this is what it's looking like, y'all. Okay, y'all, the second one, I'll be using purple ribbon with the brown ribbon. Okay, y'all, so I've done the one with the purple, so I'm gonna use the purple um, pool noodle and stick it down in here just like I did the pink one. And I'm gonna use my cable wires to lock it in there as well. So after you have tightened up your cable wires, just go ahead and take your scissors and cut the access off, the extra, and there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the ribbon around the pool noodle like I did the pink one. Okay, y'all, I'm done with the pink and purple one. So I'm gonna use this blanket to just stuff it on down in here to give the gifts a height so you'll be able to see it so it won't be sunk down all the way. So I'll be showing you guys what I'll be putting in here. Okay, y'all, so I'll be using the purple mesh to make a bow for the pink and purple one. both the baskets done I put a blanket in the bottom of them to give it some height and I do have a little bit of grass that I may place down inside to cover up the blanket on the inside so I will be putting some gifts inside of here so y'all this is an overview of the gifts that I will be putting in the gift baskets their toys their outfits and their candy Okay, y'all, so I got the Easter baskets filled up with their gifts, and they are all ready for Easter Day. Okay, y'all, so I am done with the Easter baskets. I hope you guys got some motivation or some ideas that you may want to do for your children or grandchildren. If so, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you on my next video. Bye.